And while the move fills a gap in Norfolk, Hampton will need a new police chief. Talbot's departure comes in the midst of a troubling rise in homicides in that city. Eugene Daniels spoke with city officials and community members who say the change is disappointing. Almost everyone I spoke to say they are disappointed, not just because their police chief is leaving, but because of the progress they say he made. After 21 months on the job, Hampton Police Chief Mark Talbot is leaving for the same job in Norfolk. I was you know, surprised, or, you know, a little shocked. News of Talbot's departure came as a surprise to many in Hampton, including the city's vice mayor, Jimmy Gray. You know, he's done everything that we expect you know, a chief to do. That's what makes Talbot's exit so difficult. Gray and other city leaders say they noticed improved police community relations, more evidence based policing, and despite a spike in homicides to start the year, they claim data shows a reduction in overall crime. Many people like restaurant owner Randy Bowman say they feel better about the state of policing in Hampton. Uh, you just don't stop people anymore. You have to have a cause. Um, I think that's building a relationship. Next steps aren't yet clear in a letter to police officer city manager Mary Bunting says she's out of town, but she's begun talks with council members, city staff and trusted community leaders about a smooth transition. But Gray says city leaders have not sat down and strategized. When asked what he would like to see in the next chief, Bowman made it pretty clear. Talbot's twin brother. <laughs> in Hampton, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. Now, once the search gets underway, Gray says he's not sure how long it will take to find the city's next chief, but He's confident they will be able to hire someone who will move Hampton forward.